Hey guys, today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to install Android Auto and Apple CarPlay into any car and can be done by literally anyone. And of course, we are going to be talking about CarPuride. So if you frequent my channel, you'll know that I review a lot of Android head units and these all have variations of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built into them. But of course, they need to be installed into the vehicles. So you need to have a vehicle that's compatible and the knowledge to actually install or the money to get someone else to install it for you. So this is gonna be a little bit different because the whole point of CarPuride is to give your car Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with no hassle whatsoever. You literally just plug them in and they work. Now the other reason why I like them, which might not be relevant to you, is that I rent a lot of cars and there's still a lot of cars that you can rent which don't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built into them, especially abroad. And I have personally taken this thing around the world over the course of the year and uh, every time I get a car which doesn't have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built in, I plug this in because it is an absolute lifesaver. Now, this is not a paid endorsement. It might sound like one. I didn't get paid to endorse any company or products, um, but this is probably one of my favorite gadgets. Now, I've recently picked up the nine inch version, this one here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm going to set it up in the car, have a play, and uh, we'll see what it's like. All right, let's go and do that now. Here it is, and this is quite a bit bigger than the seven inch variation that I previously reviewed. So let's have a look. So on the front here, we have the actual brand name down here. And the only other thing of note is this little hole down here, which will be for the built-in microphone. And then on the opposite side, you can see you've got a speaker sort of hidden in the grill there and the mounting point, and that's pretty much it. You've got a power button on the top here. And then if we have a look at the side, you can see you have your power input here. You've got a USB input, an AV analog video output. You've got a camera in because it does have compatibility for a reverse camera, which is awesome. You have a micro SD card input here and you have the ability to add an external mic. And that's pretty much the entirety of what this particular device is. Also in the box, we have a permanent mount so what this does is it allows you to use adhesive pad to either stick it onto the dashboard top or the front of it, or you can screw it on because it does actually have screw holes. And then you can just mount your device directly to this. And for those of you who don't want a permanent fixture, you get the uh, suction cup mount. This is primarily what I have used. And uh, it comes with a little mount for the dashboard if you want to use the suction cup on the actual dashboard as well. You get an aux in cable so you can feed audio into it. And of course you get the cigarette lighter adapter which is actually going to power the device right let's go and take it in the car and have a play and here i am sitting in the saab 93 studio car for once only has a factory head unit in it and this car represents any brand of car that you might have because the beauty of the car puride system is that it will literally work in any car so we have a few options on where we can mount this it does come with the suction mount so you can Stick it up here on the window if you want to, or has a has that dash mount uh, that you can mount it onto. But what I would prefer to do is have it in a more traditional place, sort of here, just over the radio. So what I'm going to be using is this little device here, uh, which is sold on the Carpuride website. It is a vent clamp. So you basically stick these prongs into the vent, and then you clip this back, and it clamps onto it. And as you can see, you have a ball mount here so that you can find the right direction that you actually want the screen in. So I'm thinking probably around here. So just push that in there like so, and then clamp it in place like that. And then it looks a bit wobbly, but what we do is we just put the two mounts there. And as you can see, when we put the weight on it, it's just gonna hold it down. So that's what we're gonna do now is just clip the screen on like so, and just aim it towards us, the driver. And there we go, we've got a nine inch screen, which is now not obscuring my vision anywhere, and it's in the perfect place. It's aimed towards me, the driver, and that's gonna be great. So the next thing that we need to do is actually give it some power. 
So I'm just going to plug that in now. It's just a cigarette lighter. So we're just going to plug that in down here like so. And there we go. That's pretty much it. It's set up in the car now. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I will stress that you don't need to buy that additional vent mount if you don't want to. You can just use the window suction or the dashboard adhesive pad that it comes with. But in my personal opinion, if you are driving a sort of standard saloon car like this, it's probably better to go for the seven inch variation of this unit, which I reviewed previously, uh, because it uh, doesn't obscure your vision so much as uh, such a big screen as this. But the uh, vent clip for this screen makes it absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's switch it on and see what happens. So you can see it's uh, showing the Carpuride logo on the screen. And there we go. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit to reduce the reflection so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And here we have the dashboard. And as you can see, it's very pretty and very simple and pretty much the only time that you're ever going to see it is when you're initially setting it up because once you've done it carpuride will automatically connect to android auto or to apple carplay as soon as you're in the car so uh, it is everything is automatic after you've set it up the initial time but i'll just show you quickly so iplay is apple carplay a auto is obviously android auto it's also compatible with airplay Auto link is for screen mirroring. If you just want to turn the screen off, you can do that by tapping this and you can tap it again to bring it back again. Bluetooth is for Bluetooth streaming and to make Bluetooth phone calls, which is really cool. USB allows you to stick some movies or music onto a USB stick and then plug it into this unit and you can play it back on this device without the need for a phone. Card is exactly the same. You can put movies or music onto a micro SD card, put it into the side of this and play back if you want to. That brings us to the FM transmitter. And that's one of the ingenious ways that the car puride gets audio to the car. There's actually three ways that you can play back audio from the car puride. The first is using its internal speaker, uh, which I don't recommend because it's tinny and you've got a sound system in your car and it's better to use the car. The second is an aux cable, which allows you just to connect the car puride to the aux on your car to give yourself audio that way. And thirdly, it has a built-in FM transmitter, which is really cool. And what does that mean? It basically means it's going to broadcast audio on one of these frequencies. So, for example, I have it set to 87.5 at the moment. And all I need to do is tune the radio of the car into this radio frequency and it will pick up all the audio from this completely wirelessly. That's one of the things that makes this truly genius. You've powered it from the cigarette lighter and now it's connected to the car's sound system and it's gonna wirelessly connect to your phone for calls, music and navigation as well. So let's go back and let's connect our phone. So on my phone, I'm just gonna click W701. And as you can see, it's come up here, Stuart Z Fold 4, which I can select. And you can see it's Bluetooth connected by this little green tick up here. You've now got a gold Android Auto. And there we go. So it's already playing music from my Spotify straight away through the car system because I've already tuned my car radio into 87.5. But as you can see, um, I have full access to all of the apps that you would have on Android Auto. I've got access to all of the navigation programs that I would ever want to use as well. So yeah, this is full Android Auto in a car that doesn't have Android Auto. And the, and the beauty of it, is that it's not just navigation, it's not just like putting a TomTom -tom in your car. You have full access to all of the apps that you would have in a modern car. So if you're in a car which doesn't even have Bluetooth hands-free, you've just given your car Bluetooth hands-free. So it's the true experience of Android Auto on here. Right, let's have a look at Apple CarPlay. And the same thing with the iPhone, go to settings, we go to Bluetooth, and we find that W701. Uh, and there we go full apple carplay have access to all of my carplay apps here everything's working very quickly we've got google maps spotify everything and then obviously we can split the screen up and have music here and, and audio here and again you have your full hands free everything is working exactly as it should be and obviously if we play music
to your full access to music, navigation, Bluetooth hands-free, everything that Apple CarPlay has to offer without actually having to physically install anything in your car. That's how good this is. Now, with regards to audio quality, it sounds great. Obviously, if you use the FM transmitter, that's not going to be as good as the auxiliary cable. And I did just test that now. Uh, the aux cable does offer a better sound quality, but both are fine for seamless integration to audio to your car. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the CarPuride device. Nice, simple device that does exactly what it says it's gonna do. If I've missed anything in this video, or if you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below and I will see what I can do about answering them. If there's any other devices or head units that you'd like me to review, just let me know and I will see what I can do about that. And of course, if you like this kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel because there is much more stuff coming up.